Because of the movement of the sun, we're used to seeing people being lit from almost every angle. The lights in our homes and also in public places can also be found lighting us from almost every angle. And I say almost every angle because you almost never see someone lit from the bottom. So it feels very unnatural. But of course, as storytellers, sometimes unnatural is exactly what we're looking for. In the same way that lighting from above can suggest a lowered brow, lighting from below suggests a raised brow, as you can see on Lucy here. This expression can suggest fear, a mindless intensity, or maybe a menace of some sort. You know, when we gather around a campfire to tell a scary story, the campfire lights us from the bottom, and that adds to the atmosphere. So this look is usually reserved for horror movies or other intense scenes. Here in The Body Snatcher, as these characters look into the mirror, they are lit from the bottom, and it adds to the uneasiness of the scene. Same thing with this creepy dude from I Walked With a Zombie. Or in a modern example, this character in Insidious is actually helping the good guys as she is lit from the bottom. So this doesn't make her scary, but it makes the situation feel scary. Now, knowing that lighting from below has this effect, be careful of inadvertently adding lights from below. Inexperienced filmmakers often put lights on the ground because that's usually out of the way of the shot. Or even more frequently, they'll put a bounce card on the ground. Now, this probably is the best way to bounce the most sunlight back onto the subject because it's aimed directly at the sun. But the problem is that the reflected fill light is usually coming from the bottom and reflected sunlight can be really strong. So watch out for that. Lighting from the bottom can be a fun way to create an uneasy atmosphere in a shot or to make a character feel diabolical. 